It was time to go on another little cycling adventure, but sometimes it takes a little bit of patience before you get started. Hello, hello. It's the first bike trip in a long time, over a year, and I'm heading to an area called Kangwado right now. Pretty close to Incheon Airport on the west coast of Seoul. It's about 50 kilometers to get there. I haven't ridden 50 kilometers in over a year, so this will be an interesting trip. The reason I'm going to Kangwado is there's a bike path that goes up the DMZ called the Pyeongwa Nuri Jajanggogye, so the Pyeongwa Nuri bike path. For those that don't know, the DMZ or Demilitarized Zone goes along the border between South and North Korea, and the Pyeongwa Nuri bike path opened up in 2023. Yeah, I feel it'd just be a good kind of like warm up ride. Once I'm riding it, I kind of loop around back close to where I live. So I'll probably just go for a night or two and then come back home, edit the video and keep riding the rest of the path. Just to make it a good kind of first ride of the year. So yeah, anyways, uh, we're about to go to the Han River, which is part of the cross country bike path and That'll be most of the ride today, just riding along the Han River. So let's go check it out on a beautiful day. So you can see Yoido over there on the other side of the Han River. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of cherry blossoms right now. So at the beginning of April, if you come to Korea, it's a really good time to see the cherry blossoms. Yeah, there's a lot of kind of festivals and stuff like that and they celebrate it a lot. So it's just kind of a fun time to come. So one amazing thing about Seoul, you could see earlier it was quite busy and hectic. Lots of cars and traffic everywhere. Lots of people walking around. It's hard to find anywhere that you kind of have some space to yourself. But when you come to the Han River like this, you kind of get away from the city a lot actually. And you can see like around me right now, it's really nice, especially in the spring with the green leaves coming out and everything's just kind of coming into bloom. So uh, I like how they arrange the city with the Han River in the middle of it, just so you're not kind of always stuck in the big kind of gray cityscape. You can escape it very easily too. We're passing Mangwon Shijang right there. Well, it's on the other side of uh, the tunnel and stuff, but it's a fun area to go for some street food and stuff like that. So for those of you who follow our channel, uh, normally I make videos with my wife, Eugen. We have a really big transition coming up in our life and uh, Eugen's busy doing something to prepare for that. So I'll probably be making videos by myself for the meantime until, I don't know when, like a couple months or so. Just making some guides and stuff around Seoul. And uh, we just finished the bike path guides last week. And a lot of people like donated and we were not expecting that at all. So we both want to say thank you so much for all the support and for, for watching us, sticking it through with us. And uh, yeah, hope we'll keep trying harder, keep learning, keep growing. And uh, it is our dream to live completely off of making YouTube videos and we're getting pretty close to that. So just want to say thank you so much. Uh, it's been, very humbling and yeah we're just we're lucky to be able to do this especially in this part of the world too to share korea with everyone so that's uh that's awesome really appreciate it well, let's keep riding okay we're just getting to the bridge I don't know what it's called, but we're gonna cross this, uh, Kayangdaegyo. So we're gonna take the elevator here, which most of the bridges on the Han River have, and cross to the south side. The elevator is out of service, so they might be doing some maintenance on it right now, so I'm just gonna go to the next bridge. It 
This is what Gyeonggi-do looks like everywhere, I guess. <laughs> Pretty insane though. It, like I used to bike up here maybe five or six years ago and it didn't look like this at all. So yeah, they're developing like crazy. So yeah, I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm gonna stop at the 7-Eleven, get a little bite to eat. Got some Sangha kimbap for lunch. It's a nice cheap meal to get at the convenience stores. Tuna mayonnaise, tuna kimchi fried rice, and a protein bar. Nothing special, but it does the, does the job for sure. At this point I was about 15 kilometers or a third of the way into today's ride. I've ridden along the south side of the Hun River countless times, but this was my first time checking out the north side of this section, which was quite a bit different and almost felt like being in the countryside, with a lot of bike shops and maintenance centers as well that I had no idea about. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. I did not expect all that kind of infrastructure around here. But we'll see it again once we come back. Yeah, I think we're gonna be crossing a bridge pretty soon here. And uh, keep heading west towards Incheon, towards Gangwado. So that's what the sign looks like for the Pyeongwanuri Chajanggugye. If you wanna do this path, you'll just be following this sign wherever you're going. There are so many cyclists now. It's a very big difference between the north and the south. So I didn't really know that until today, to be honest. It's quite a bit more peaceful in the north, but the south is a, it's a better bike path for sure. So that's why there's more people. These signs up here, you can see one is going to the, uh, the start of the four rivers and the other is going to the Pyeongwanuri. So I'm gonna be doing a little U-turn here to keep following the Han River and head west. There's a big factory area here too. Uh, everyone will be familiar with this if they've cycled the four rivers, but now put a little U-turn and I'm sure there will be a lot less cyclers now. We'll, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think. Nice downhill. Marina Bay, that must be a like a nice hotel next to the ferry terminal or something like that. You can see the tombs on the mountain here, but it's quite big and spread out. So this might be probably someone pretty important. That's a lot of land to be used for this. It turns out that this is a set of tombs set out for Nam Won Yoon and his family, a judge during the reign of King Jungjong of the Joseon Dynasty, and is one of those things you'd only see for a split second by car, but cycling gives you a chance to get a feel for a place. And when I continued on further west up the Han River, I could really feel a completely new environment forming around me with the military fencing on one side, and then what looked like complete countryside on the other. However, I was mostly alone, and it was quite peaceful. This area is cool. There's a bunch of like kind of cafes and little relaxing areas around here to chill and there's yeah, there's not many people around here. Which is a nice break from being in Seoul for sure. But I can see in the horizon there's some absolutely massive developments in uh, Incheon as well. The skyline's insane. This path has been really really smooth and flat. The tarmac is perfect for cycling. Oh, it's just nice and peaceful you know. So I've came about 33 kilometers now. Weather is just beautiful today and I got super lucky with this, uh, this rest stop, but haven't been able to film too much because of the, the army facilities. There's signs everywhere saying not to film. So I think for those that are in Seoul that want a nice day trip and kind of want something like unique and interesting to look at, uh, it could be a fun ride just because 
you do go past so many army facilities and you get some nice viewpoints as well. This is very fun doing this uh, after almost a year of not cycling like this though. Figure I might as well show a bit of my setup too. So right now I just have the two pannier bags in the back with a, like a backpack over top of them and a solar panel on top. And then just one Ortlieb handlebar bag with the butterfly handlebars, which are awesome by the way. For those that do this kind of cycle touring, this big blue solar panel, solar charger, we've used it a lot on our journeys and it's really good, especially for charging like camera batteries. Like you can see this one, I put in about an hour ago and it's fully charged already. There's three USB ports. If you have like a 10,000 milliamp hour external battery or something, you can get it to probably like 70% uh, throughout the day cycling. Everyone's favorite highway cycling, starting right here, but 60 kilometers an hour speed limit, so it should be okay. And I think it's only a couple kilometers. Well, at least we got a wide shoulder, which is nice. Lots of pieces of metal on the road though, so I gotta pay attention. And we're gonna be taking a right up here. This isn't too bad so far, actually. Okay. Here we go, staying as far to the right as possible. This is not fun at all. Oh, there we go. Don't recommend that to anyone, to be honest. I could have probably done a better job to scout, but I saw it was just two kilometers on there, so I just went for it, but maybe I shouldn't have, to be honest. <laughs> now we're in a kind of a suburb country area. There's a uh, real estate there. There's Chang'o, which is eel. Oh, I think I got a flat actually, damn it. That's some uh, karma for riding on the highway when I was talking about how you shouldn't be doing that. So I couldn't see any marks and it seemed like a slow leak. So it might just be the tube that's wearing out and I was, I was riding pretty fast at the end there. So might have just went a little bit too hard on the tube. I almost didn't pack the tube. I almost forgot. So I'm really glad that I did. I guess you can never be too prepared, right? So yeah, I just got nine kilometers left until the start of the Pyeongwan Nuri Chajongugye. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit up a market to grab some groceries because I'm gonna do some cooking tonight as well. When you're looking for a supermarket in the countryside of Korea, Use neighbor maps and press the mart icon, and you'll usually be able to find a hanaromatsu, which should have most things. Just remember this icon if you need to. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I was craving just getting out of the busy areas and just being in the these kind of rural areas, passing them by bike. Uh, it feels really good so far, so I'm excited right now, you know? This is really fun. Missed the turn to Hanromate. It's like it's up this uh, real countryside road. It might be gone now too. Apparently it's up here. Bunch of holes in the road, I'm not sure why. Probably construction. Okay, I think it's this building here. Hello. 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 
껍데기 있는 걸로 드려? 없는 걸로 드려? 아, 없는 걸로. 어, 없는 걸로. 네, 감사합니다. 잘라 드릴까요? 아, 네. 네. 네, 감사합니다. 네. We get some chillo. What is the convenience store for that? 네, 이렇게 종량제 봉투 하나 주시겠어요? 네. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. 오케이, okay, now we got another flat right there. These tubes must have just been old and maybe just because they've sat outside for the winter and stuff, they're, they're not working. So I guess I'm going to have to see if there's a bike shop around. Uh-oh, looks like there are no bike shops in the area, which is not good. Well, I could be in trouble here. Might have to call Eugene to save me today. Jaibi! 나 아까 뒤에서 펑크 났는데 앞 바퀴는 갑자기 펑크 났어. 아마 너무 밖에서 보관했으니까 약간 튜브가 좀안 좋았나 봐. 너 괜찮으면 소카로 오는 게 제일 좋을 것 같은데. 근데 너는 어떻게 생각해? <웃음> 어. 어. 찍어줄게. 고마워. <웃음> I probably jumped the gun assuming that my tubes weren't okay. But after a rocky start for the first time riding my bike like this for almost two years, I just wanted to come back home and make sure I was fully prepared before I continued on ahead. And so I could just edit this video and give myself some time. I sat down on the curb to wait, and an extremely friendly guy came to help me out. <laughs> 사연은 없을 거네요. 아, 네네. 네, 괜찮아요. 지금 부인이 어차피 오고 있으니까. 음, 근데 감사합니다. 네. 그렇게 도와주셔서 아, 감사합니다. 네. 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 어차피 집으로 가시는 건가요, 그럼? 네네. 아, 네. 조심히 가시고요. 네, 조심히 네. 가세요. 네, 감사합니다. 네. 감사합니다. I killed some time playing some older games, and Eugene was on her way. It was her first time driving an SUV, and also her first time driving anywhere alone, without any help navigating. It wasn't an easy feat for her, taking some wrong turns here and there, but she arrived about two hours later to rescue me. Hi! 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 한 네다섯 번 길을 잃어가지고 <웃음> 아, <웃음> 이렇게 아 고마워 배. Thank you. 이거. It's not the same as stealth camping, but uh, it's even better actually. So you get your your SOM ready, wrap it up like that, take a shot to finish the day, and finish with the SOM. Oh, 자전거 타면 장난 아니야.